that I want. Okay, so we false hooked. I think it's a tilapia. Man, these are big old scales, huh? Peacock bass, let me tell you something, you are not doing your job. Because he is huge. Uh, yeah, they have teeth. 100% have teeth. Just gonna kill it. Just gonna kill it. It's like the size of you, dude. What is that, buddy? <laughs> what, Leo? What is that, buddy? Watch Leo, there's teeth. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, being scared shitless of it. So cool. uh, that is fucking cool. I've been wanting to catch one of these for so long, but they're scared of everything. If I want to go attack, because they're nesting right now. His nest's over right over here. I'm not going to put him back in it. Um, and that's the only time I ever see, ever get them to attack my lures, but if they don't see me, and it's, they just kind of attack it off of instinct, off of territory. So this is his nest right here where I just cast it through. There we go. He was running with it for a little bit. I guess he was running with it in his side.
you guys might recognize this this is the first lake that I put my first video at where I caught all those peacock bass in it's just full of peacock bass so it's not that for, that's what we're going for I'm really just trying to catch anything right now but a peacock bass would definitely be nice a lot of fun to catch Bass over there. Let's see. We're gonna try. interested in it. Guys, we got this. Alright, so the peacock bass I found over here are really aggressive. Just need to find them again. Could have gone anywhere. They have fry on them, so they're really, really aggressive right now. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you? Got them. Got them, folks. This is it. This is it, folks. 100%. This is it. Okay, that wasn't it. This is it though. Don't let it count, don't let it count. He's swimming away, he's swimming away. Need to wait, need to wait. Here we got it, we got it. No. How did she, why did she go for that? We're an idiot. There we go. That's one. Multi-species day, folks. Multi-species day. Barely hooked. Just All right, folks. Wily little guy. Get over here. Cut the fuck out. All right, guys. Here we go. He's a peacock bass. All right. No, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. All right, guys. Here's a peacock bass that we caught. Multi-species day. We got tilapia, it's the first peacock bass. We're gonna try to catch another one, there's a bigger one down there. Let's get him back into the water, folks. So one rule of thumb when you're fishing, follow the birds. Birds know where the fish are. That one. Not coming up. Flip. Go, folks. Good shot with the sun.
Here's our bass. Three ounce eight. Oh, we use a little three ounce weight. It's a little dude, but he's chunky. Yes, he is. What we use was a three eight ounce weight. A pumpkin seed lizard. Just completely swallowed it. Follow the wind, follow the birds, and you'll catch yourself a fish every time. <clears throat> Keep these legs clean. If you're not going to keep the lips clean, who will? No, it's our job. It pisses me off the most when a fisherman leaves their stuff on the floor, leaves their fishing line. Because you're the one who obviously uses the water the most, uses nature the most, so you should respect it the most. Last cast, ladies and gentlemen, before we head home. It's a multi species two day adventure in Florida. Tilapia, peacock bass, and then of course, largemouth bass. This is the last cast, because Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, we caught multiple fish, multiple species. It was a fantastic ride. Um, really great fishing just starting to kick up here in Florida. Bass was starting to bite again on the moving baits, which is my favorite thing to use. I hate fishing slow. Um, I want to throw some move at the end of the bait. I want to throw the fish smack my line. You know, that's just the way I fish. You know, I, I'm used to fishing saltwater fish, you know. I love that power at the end of my line, so. Definitely cannot wait. Definitely cannot wait for these videos. Come anything you suggest for a video coming up. I live fairly close to Lake Okeechobee. Um, I could definitely do a, um, maybe a snakehead, a snakehead catch and cook maybe? I don't know, maybe we'll see. I heard that they're delicious, so I definitely want to try to catch one too. So I'll definitely catch you guys later. Keep the rods bent.